Good happy Saturday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King network. Let's get started. First up two juveniles in custody following incident at Concord Mall. Two juveniles were taken into custody following an incident at the Steeplegate Mall in Concord on Christmas, police say. Girl battling cancer gets Christmas wish to meet Tom Brady. An eight-year-old girl battling cancer had her number one Christmas wish granted. She met New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady. Measurable snow possible Monday night into Tuesday morning. Christmas Day was record high setting, setting day in many parts of New Hampshire with Concord and Portsmouth shattering old record high temps, but changes are coming. Court rules couples cannot undo divorces in New Hampshire. Should those incredibly differences suddenly become recognizable, don't go looking to get undivorced in New Hampshire. Car crashes into Hayride in Maine. Seven injured. A car crashed into a horse-drawn hayride in Maine, injuring seven people, including one seriously. Armed man taken into custody outside burning Massachusetts home. Police in Everett, Massachusetts took an armed man into custody outside his burning home following an hour-long standoff on Christmas Day. Man, woman arrested in Rochester on drug charges. Two people face charges following a drug bust in Rochester, police say. Carbon monoxide poisoning suspected in death of mass man and woman. Two people were found dead Friday inside their home off Prospect Street in Milford, Massachusetts. Start 2016 with a hike. There is nothing better than interwalking walk with the family to start off the new year. Volunteers serve Christmas dinner. Volunteers served dinner to people at New Horizons for New Hampshire on Christmas Day. More than a hundred people arrived for a free hot meal. Hundreds of Concord kids get new toys thanks to nonprofit. A fire station may seem like an unlikely place for a toy store, but that happened Christmas Day in Concord. Mild Christmas Day temperatures bringing people out to Hampton Beach. While winter enthusiasts are still waiting for winter to arrive, others are taking advantage of the unseasonably warm days. Exeter Police Chief to retire after 35 years with department. Exeter Police Chief Richard Kane says he'll retire next month after 16 years leading the department. Two bodies found in Maine, death considered suspicious. Maine State Police say the death of a man and woman in a car on a Manchester road is considered suspicious. Chicago P Police shooting leaves two dead. Chicago Police under intense security in recent months over Officer-involved shootings were involved in another one Saturday morning that an incident that left 
two people dead, police said. Police warned European cities on, of terror threats. An unnamed friendly intelligence service has warned several European cities of a possible terror attack, according to a statement released Saturday by police in Vienna, Austria. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.